So Brian has decided to go as Tony Stark for Halloween. And for those of you who don't know, Tony Stark is the main character in the movie Iron Man. And uh, part of Tony Stark's uh, personality is he has something called the Arc Reactor. And what you see before you is our representation of the Arc Reactor. Uh, it's made up of a few different parts, and uh, these parts are all going to be part of Brian's costume. Um, most of them will be hidden. But uh, this part here will be visible for the from the outside of the costume. There's several parts. Uh, first part is going to be the battery pack. Uh, we have two different sizes of battery packs that we can use with the arc reactor. Uh, they're both about the same. The only difference is the capacity. The smaller battery pack has 1,100 milliamp hours of capacity, and then the larger one is 2,300 milliamp hours of capacity. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use the smaller battery pack. Um, which connects with uh, two connectors to the control board. Um, also note on the battery pack this extra uh, group of wires. These are used during charging uh, which are used to balance the different cells inside the battery pack. Uh, each battery pack contains five cells uh, manufactured by a company called A123 who are kind of a, uh, they're a unique company and as far as lithium ion batteries go, they make some of the higher end cells that you can find out there. The second part of the uh, arc reactor is going to be the control board. And that's what you see here. Uh, on the control board, the main areas of interest are the slider and the button, which are the way that uh, Brian's going to interface with the, the arc reactor to change the different uh, lights and change the intensity of the light. And then there's kind of the brain, which is the microcontroller and some of its parts. And then the biggest part of it is going to be the LED drivers. LED drivers are located right here, here, and here. And that's because we have three different LED circuits. Um, we have one LED here in the center, and we have two circuits that run the perimeter of the arc reactor. And I'll get into more of that in a little bit. Uh, the output of the control board comes through this standard RJ45 connector, and that connects to the arc reactor like that. Uh, the arc reactor itself, the base is made of a piece of aluminum. Uh, on top of the aluminum is a printed circuit board, and the printed circuit board is where all of our LEDs are mounted, and all of the wiring happens, and all the connections are made. On top of that, there's three layers of plexiglass that we've frosted to help diffuse the light as it comes out of the arc reactor. And on top of the plexiglass is a mask, basically a black piece of paper that gives you the, the, the design of the arc reactor. Inside the arc reactor we've got 21 LEDs. Uh, around the perimeter we have two rings of LEDs. We have 10 white and 10 blue LEDs. And then in the center we have an MCE, which is, a, which is actually four LEDs on one chip. So it's actually one large LED. And then as you can tell, that on, on top of that one large LED, there's a reflector so that most of the light is projected forward away from Brian's chest and, and towards the uh, people checking out his costume. Um, all of this will be worn under his clothing, uh, including the arc reactor, which is going to kind of shine through his shirt. Uh, as you kind of see, if you've ever seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the arc reactor here so we can see it in action. As you notice, as I slide the slider up, you get a brighter intensity from the arc reactor. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press the button, and the button cycles through a few different modes that the uh, arc reactor has. And this mode lasts for just a few seconds, and then it goes off. And basically that is uh, what Brian's going to use to blind the people that are checking out his costume. So we'll kind of move on. Next one is just the blue lights. You can see the 10 blue LEDs around the ring. And again, we can adjust the intensity from nothing all the way up to full brightness. Next is just the center LED, which is that quad uh, LED, uh, also known as an MCE. Again, we can make that very, very bright, or we can bring it down to just barely on. Next, we've got all of our LEDs, and then again, I can adjust them from all the way off to full brightness, which is pretty bright. And 
Now we've got just the outer ring without the uh, center LED. Bring that up to full brightness. And again, we've got that really fast, flashing, intense burst of light from that one. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to kill the lights. And I'm going to show you this thing in action and compare it to some other flashlights that we've got here in the apartment. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and compare the arc reactor to some of the other flashlights we have here in the apartment. First up is your standard 2D cell mag light. Uh, this is an LED mag light. Uh, this is what you can get off the shelf for about 20 bucks. And as you can see, the beam on this is able to be focused a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really light up the room, but it does provide you a little of a pretty good beam of light. But nothing too spectacular. So now we're going to compare the arc reactor to a couple of the other flashlights we have in the house so you can kind of get an idea of how it performs and what kind of light output we're getting. So first up is a 2D cell mag light, what you're going to see in you know, a lot of toolboxes and, and in, the, in some trucks. Uh, this thing runs two D cell batteries and it's got the LED. Um, you can tell it uh, lights up the room, you can focus the beam down pretty fine. Um, but not a whole lot of light, but enough to get the job done. Next up is uh, the Streamlight Fire Vulcan, which is a pretty high-end flashlight. Um, it's got a really long throw, so it can throw the light out there really far. It's got a very focused beam. As you can see here, it really lights up that small area uh, and then provides some you know, general lighting around that. Um, one thing to note is, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but this really lights up the room a lot more than the mag light. Uh, but it provides most of its light at that one point in the center of the display. So now I'm going to go ahead and fire up the arc reactor. Right now what you see is the center, just the center LED. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that up to full brightness. And you'll notice that it isn't quite as focused as either, either of the lights prior, um, but it is putting off a lot of light. It lights up the room almost, I would say, just as much as the Fire Vulcan um, and considerably more than the mag light, although its light is not nearly as focused. Now you can see the light with all of the LEDs on. This is all the white and the red, or I'm sorry, all the white and blue LEDs around the perimeter as well as the center LED. And that's just the outer LEDs, which is the 10 white and 10 blue LEDs. There's that really fast, bright flash. Just the blue LEDs. And then again, we're back to just the center LED. So now you can see what the arc reactor looks like when it's uh, on somebody. And you can see I've got it uh, hanging about where it's going to hang for, for Brian's costume. Um, it's on pretty low right now. Let's go ahead and turn up the brightness. You'll notice it really lights up the room, gives off a lot of light. It uh, can really blind somebody pretty good. This is just the center LED right now. Let's go ahead and switch to one of the other modes and see what it looks like. Right now what we've got is just the outer LEDs, and I'll go ahead and turn that down just a little bit. And this is about, you know, this is where Brian might be walking around. This is my, what might be what it looks like. Go into one of the next ones here with just the blue, so you get an idea of what that looks like. And here's just the center LED again, so we'll go ahead and turn that up. And bring it back down. 